Welcome to another openings video. Today we're going over the French defense, a very common opening, very similar to the Karakana, especially in its pawn structure. Without further ado, let's just jump into it. So the French defense is characterized by white going over here to e4. Black meets it. Instead of going to c6 in the Karl Khan, you're going to be going e6 in the French defense and looking to push up to d5, trying to get that pawn on that over there without losing the pawn like you would in a Scandinavian or something like that. So there's a few different ways that your opponent can react to this. I personally like to go knight to f3 and then once uh, the black turns up to d5, you exchange the pawns, push up to d5 and you're going to call it the exchange French. It's a very boring and principled chess game, very much into the fundamentals. But if you don't know the French defense, that might be a good way to take your opponent out of theory just playing a good chess game, just one way of going about it. But when most people play against the French defense, they go d4 over here, looking to meet that pawn on d5. And once black pushes the pawn over there to d5, white then goes ahead and pushes up to e5, creating the advanced variation. This is something you'll see very often, especially in the Karl Khan. The only problem is your bishop is now blocked in. So in the advanced variation, there's a lot of different lines, but the main line and top engine moves are as follows. You want to push up to c5, creating space, one, to develop your knight. Two, you have this guarded by the bishop. You're trying to get this knight over here to f5. So you push up to c5, trying to break open the center, remove the defender of this pawn. White's usually not going to take it. They're going to push up here to c3 instead. And you should be developing your knight very much similar to the Karakhan advanced variation. They'll develop their knight, protecting this pawn. The battle is for this square. You bring out the queen, they bring out the bishop. They're trying looking to castle king side, and we're looking to take this pawn here. Now, the one thing that you want to make sure that you see in this advanced variation is after the bishop comes over here to d3, you don't want to just take this pawn because one, it looks like it's a free pawn. And once you take it, you have this and you're losing. You've, you've lost the queen because there's no way to stop this bishop check and your queen's hanging. So make sure that you don't do that. <laughs> so after the bishop comes to e2, the best move for black to make in this position is just getting your knight out and developing it, trying to get it over here to f5. White will castle. You then want to take at that point. And after taking, you then develop to f5. You have one, two, and three attackers here and one and two defenders here. You're winning as black and you're just looking to one, develop this bishop, castling, just attacking the center as much as possible and trying to gain your advantage there. You're basically out of the opening at this point. Now, instead of the advanced variation, white meets you with d4, you push up to d5, and white meets with the knight to c3 variation. So this is considered the main line. And you can obviously take, which we'll be looking at in some other future variations, but black can easily meet up here knight f6. And when they push and advance the variation, you bring the knight out here. White's best move is to go f4. You push up to c5, getting space, trying to get this knight out. After this knight is defended, after this knight is developed, we want to develop our knight here. They bring out the bishop. You are again, you're fighting for that main main center. You're bringing the queen out. They develop their bishop, looking to castle. You just take CD4 and bring out the bishop here. You're at a dead even position, and you're just you're just fighting and playing chess, trying to to win as much as possible here. I mean, the best thing from here is knight to a4 attacking this queen, and from there you just go queen e5 check. Best thing for white to do is go c3. And white has a very, very small advantage at this point, fairly noticeable. We've gone over the advanced variation, we've gone over the main line, the two most common you'll see, but there is another way if you kind of don't want to play the theory as much, it's called the Rubenstein variation or the Fort Knox variation. And that's characterized by one, you can go here or here. It doesn't matter because what you're doing is you're taking the pawn and the knight's taking here. Now in the Rubenstein variation, what you want to do is you just want to get your knights out here, trade the knights off. And after they fortify their center, you develop your pieces, castle they bring out the devil bishops and then you're looking to fianchetto your bishop here after they castle white's got a slight advantage here but you're going to be fine as black just uh play smart precise moves and you'll be fine and the last variation i'll be going over here is called the fort knox variation very similar to the rubenstein in which you trade off this pawn get this position but instead of bringing the knight over here to d7 like you see here the bishop's actually just going to be going here to d7 and they bring out the knight there and you can trade off this knight after it moves back here or not you can just def develop as well you're just creating a very solid position from here. And it's going to be really hard for white to really break in. They might start getting frustrated, sacking pieces. You're going to be just fine. You're going to develop this knight. You're going to castle. Like it's called the Fort Knox variation for a reason. It's a very solid variation. So if you like that video, please like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I also have a channel on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Zach Slagowski. If you guys have any other openings videos that you'd like me to go over, leave a comment in the section below. Our next opening video will be here and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.